All right, everyone, we are going to do the Pantry Pastor Strikes Again. After a few years of avoiding people's homes, we finally found a home that is willing to let the Pantry Pastor come in and basically tear up the pantry. Everyone over here, you want to grab, grab a shot at the live viewing audience? But I'm going to give you as much information as possible, and then you can make the best decision for your family. Sweet relish, got to go. Peaches, peach jam, two or three teaspoons of sugar per serving. Oh, croissants? No, no, no. No, 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 croissants. I'm pretty sure that's bad butter. Pretty sure, I don't know what all this is. Let me just break down dairy. In a nutshell, dairy's pretty hard because uh, you'd have to really get dairy uh, dairy that's not, not pasteurized because the pasteurization process actually kills all the good enzymes as well as the bad enzymes. But if you're gonna go dairy, you probably, the best uh, choice is organic. The reason is the cows obviously are consuming GMO, genetically modified uh, grains. They're being injected with hormones, steroids. They're eating the grain that was pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. So when you eat the dairy, in essence, you're consuming a lot of what the animal consumes. So I try not to eat too much dairy. You wanna be careful. Salad dressings. What you're trying to avoid is vegetable oils. Vegetable oils, vegetable oils, vegetable oils canola oil, safflower oil, soybean oil. A lot of oils are what they call refined oils, meaning they've been heated, they've been treated, and as a result, they smell really bad. Then they have to use more chemicals to take away the smell. So a lot of times when you have vegetable oil, you are taking in a lot of chemicals that are not good for you, number one. Number two is they are linking a lot of this stuff with inflammation. Usually I make fresh salad dressing when possible, like some jalapeno juice or pepperoncini juice, and you can mix some a healthy mayonnaise or a little bit of good honey. See, what's interesting, why can't it just be olives? It's gotta have 14 other things in there. Preservatives, sometimes there's sodium nitrates. Why do you have to have food coloring in olives? Because remember, a lot of this stuff is marketing. Why can a Twinkie last on your shelf for about 20 years? I should tell you something right there. Here we go. Does this pass the test? Blackberry jalapeno, tons of sugar. Why is there 10 grams and 12 grams of sugar in one tablespoon? Three teaspoons of sugar, how does that even fit in one tablespoon? Because a tablespoon is actually three teaspoons. So you know what this is? You're eating sugar. The average American consumes around 58 teaspoons of sugar a day. 58 teaspoons. If you pour that out, that'll be a nice little fluff. We're gonna replace the milk with good organic milk. Again, I would limit dairy, but again, it's how serious do you want to get? We can talk about you know why milk and dairy in moderation is better. The bottom line is you're consuming a lot of whatever the animal consumes. So looks pretty bare. What we want to do with produce, if possible, is make sure it's organic produce. Why is healthy food so expensive? I would throw that back and say, why is bad food so cheap? If you make changes though, I, you know, give up Starbucks habit here and there, give up this habit, you can find the money to purchase good food. What they do is they spray pesticides, fungicides, all kinds of chemicals on this. That's why non-organic is not a very good choice. And then sometimes you'll see GMO or hear about GMO. GMO is genetically modified organisms. And what they'll do, it's called Roundup Ready. Have you heard of Roundup? We spray it on your, uh, I don't mean audience participation. Yeah. So, you, so you, spray, uh, you spray Roundup on weeds, right? Well, the geniuses splice the genes of vegetables together. It's called GMO, genetically modified. And it's called Roundup Ready. So now you can spray Roundup on the vegetables and it won't kill them because they've been genetically engineered to absorb the glyphosate that is in Roundup. And then we're eating it. It's a no-brainer why we're getting tons of illness. So uh, Greek yogurt, because this is the normal American diet. Tons of dairy, tons of refined oil, tons of sugar. And that's why people are sick. Uh-oh, oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> What's going on? They tried to hide this. <laughs> Bacon, uh, pork is a very dirty meat, very nasty meat. You have to cook it really high for a while to kill, kill all the parasites. Grated Parmesan cheese. If you go for Parmesan cheese, think about organic. Most salsa, the tomatoes, the vegetables, again, are all sprayed, pesticides and different things. So you wanna be careful when you can. See, most of it's dairy, as you can tell, right? We call this the dairy household. Cook in an almond blend. If you just make almond milk, by yourself, it takes a little while, but it, it only lasts about four days, five days. The reason this can last a long time is there's preservatives in it and also things called emulsifiers. They're thickening agents. They make it a little bit thicker. So if you go with almond milk, try to get something organic, clean if possible. But again, it is a better choice than milk for sure. This, oh, this will be fine. You can keep this. 
<laughs> While we are at it, where is, I think it's time for this. I don't know what, uh oh. I think so. It's time for, well, unless you want to make tea. Okay, clap. <laughs> I know that upset half the people watching. The truth is, caffeine, especially a half a pot of caffeine, it's a central nervous stimulant. It's a drug. Caffeine is a drug. Ask any dietitian, look it up. Caffeine's a drug. So we're addicted every morning to this Christian crack, and it gets us uh, going and amped up, and we're irritable, and we're always going, we can't sleep well. And then we add only 40 teaspoons of sugar into it. So now we got sugar, we've got caffeine, and we're just a mess in the morning. We get to work, we're a mess, we can't get to sleep, and then we grab more of our drug to get us through the day. It's just an endless cycle. So we're gonna get rid of this. If you have to have coffee, decaffeinated organic coffee, because remember, the herbicides, fungicide, pesticides are sprayed directly on the coffee bean, and then they go directly into your cup. Same thing with tea. It's, it, it's just sprayed on the tea leaves. The tea leaves are broken up and go into the tea. So try to get organic tea and organic decaf coffee if you want to avoid the caffeine. Apples, we are going to let you slide. Just remember, organic doesn't necessarily mean no pesticides. It means no chemical pesticides. Before you eat this, sometimes there's wax on here. There's all the pesticides that were sprayed and then it goes directly into your body. On that note, that's why fasting is so important because fasting helps to remove a lot of toxins. Well, hey, hey that's not too bad. That's not too, oh, 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 oh. Until you look at the ingredients, canola oil, sugar, lot of sodium glutamate, food coloring, just in the, in the salad dressing. So if you have this, just put your own healthy dressing in there. Your hot dogs and, and sausage are probably one of the worst things you can eat. We're getting clean and ready for the new food, and that will be part two. <laughs> Cut. Now we open the, uh, what I call the disaster area. All natural doesn't mean anything. It means they're trying to, to put a twist on something that's natural and it's really not. If you're trying to get off meat and dairy, I would get off meat and dairy. Or if you try to go clean, have a little bit of meat, maybe six, seven ounces a day. Oh, crispy batter! <laughs> crispy batter! Look at those, gotta go, gotta go. Don't worry folks, we're not throwing this all away. We are donating to a good cause. It's all going to my refrigerator. <laughs> Let's see what this is. Oh, whoa, what is this? Whole frying chicken, 100% natural. Remember, these can still have the hormones, genetically modified feed that they're eating. It's just always good to get clean meat when you can. Sometimes meat will contain something called sodium nitrate. It's a preservative. They call it carcinogen, meaning it can, can be cancer causing, and it's in a lot of luncheon meat. All right, now we're gonna talk about some things you can add organic rice cauliflower, which is good if you add some spices to this and some beans warmed up. This is a great meal. Organic white sweet corn. Now this is gonna take a little while to get used to. Uh, the thing with bread is some bread has a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of sugar in a piece of bread, sugar. So Ezekiel is sprouted, when, in other words, it's a complete food. It's very healthy, it's, it's good for you. It's not like normal bread where all the nutrients are robbed from. That's why they call it bleached flour, processed and things like that. So this is, this is pretty good clean bread. It's called the Dirty Dozen. If you're gonna get organic, these would be the kind to get because blueberries, the recent report I saw, they spray eight different chemicals on blueberries. Eight different pesticides on blueberries, and then we just take them and eat them. It's just amazing the body is, is absorbing all this. So meat, you've got, at least you have no artificial ingredients, and at least you have no sodium nitrates or nitrates added. Health experts would chide me for recommending this, but I'm trying to give people healthy alternatives. Who can eat that healthy is the top 1% of America. I, I've tried it, it's impossible for me, probably because I have five kids and a wife who loves Chick-fil-A. So, um, <laughs> It is hard. So anyway, if you're gonna go, try to get no additives, if possible, organic meat, but again, budget sometimes. Organic string cheese, same with organic cheese, that'd be great. Kerrygold butter is a good choice for butter. What I would do with dairy is I would try to remove a lot of dairy. Cook without dairy, get off the cheese bandwagon, get off the milk. And if you need to have some, okay, but we're eating way too much dairy. Everything from joint inflammation, heart disease, diabetes, obesity, I mean, you name it. And with meat, think about this. With meat, we are eating dead, decaying flesh. Not to mention pork and pigs, it's disgusting. So you wanna limit that, and because whatever the animal ate, you're gonna eat. When you take in a lot of sugar that we showed earlier in the video, and then you eat a lot of, say, meat, there's something called IGF-1. It's insulin-like growth factor one. It's designed to increase the growth of cells 
and sugar releases a ton of insulin into the body and so you combine that and that's why you get cancer forming cells that are, are metastasizing quicker and things they're, they're connecting a lot of the meat and the sugar the surplus into our body that we're really not prepared for it's one thing if you're going to go out and work a 12 hour day on the farm i mean you can get away with a lot more stuff organic chicken breast when possible organic grass-fed beef at least you have organic in here at least you have chia flax millet quinoa amaranthin so you have organic whole ground corn you have organic chia seeds and all these things but it's the organic sunflower oil we're back to refined oils but at least it's organic when you hear cold pressed that means it was cold pressed to get the oil it wasn't used heating and chemicals and things so cold pressed is better ketchup has at least a teaspoon of sugar per serving. It's how much sugar is in the bun or the bread. You have sugar in the chips, you have sugar in the ketchup, you have sugar in the mayonnaise. We're just eating tons of sugar. So that's where I would really keep an eye on it uh, in those areas, at least for now. Let's see what we got. Oh my God, this is not gonna work. This is unbelievable. Flour, oil, what, what kind of junk is this? <laughs> Who eats like this? I can't work with this. I cannot work with this. I've never seen so much debauchery and junk food in all of my life. This is going to take a lot of work. All right, when you're ready to film, oh, you're already catching me. <laughs> I cannot work with this. All right, we're going to have, this is, we're going to have to rent a dumpster. We are going to have to rent a dumpster. I don't know if anything can stay. I do not know. We need a wheelbarrow. So until we get a wheelbarrow, we're going to have to just take a break. Well, they are doing food surgery on the refrigerator. That's what we're calling it right now. This is, there's massive upheaval going on right now in that refrigerator. So we are fixing the refrigerator. Remember when the pantry pastor stops by, it is not pretty, but it is helpful. Protein powder. So what I look for in protein powder, uh, you hear the big thing, whey, it comes from dairy. But when you start looking, it has aspartame. That's a sweetener that is not good. Artificial flavoring. You want to look at very, for very clean ingredients. I look for like a plant-based, no sweetener. My sweetener is going to come from strawberries, almond milk, and just a good protein powder. I would not have this one. If we would exercise more, lose weight, fast more, we wouldn't have to be as worried about pesticides. 100% grape seed oil. What you want to do is go for organic, cold pressed oils when possible, so I'm not sure I could recommend this one. Salt, we recommended the, the Himalaya salt that, that you can go online and just find the healthy types of salt. This is not very healthy. Peanut butter, woo! 100% natural, what have we learned? That does not mean anything. My choice, if you're asking me, would be organic almond butter. Well, it doesn't taste that great. We'll get used to it. <laughs> if you eat this whole can of beans, it has about 20 grams of fat. Now, I don't know too many people who are gonna eat this whole can of beans, let alone a very small group of people who are going to add a whole bunch of sour cream and cheese to this. But if that happens to be you, like somebody I know, then you're probably getting 40 grams of fat. And it's not good fat. And it just, it just, <laughs> oh, that's too much. <laughs> Pancake mix is usually not very healthy unless it's whole, organic, like white flour. Why is it white flour? Because they remove a lot of the nutrients. They take out the fiber, the things that are so important, and they bleach it out, and it's just white black. So it's not good, it's not healthy for you. What about Mr. Oatmeal? Well, Quaker, Quaker, Quaker. I would get a better option. A lot of this is just GMO, not too healthy. A whole oats that you have to cook for a little while, very healthy. Mix it with a little honey and some flaxseed, and it's a very healthy breakfast. So if it's in a box and processed, it's not that great for you. Onions and potatoes, and beans soaked in, in water for a while, and then you cook the beans, and those kind of natural God-given foods. My daughter does this for us. In big mason jars, you can cut up bell peppers, celery, cucumber, salad, and big mason jars in the refrigerator. Then you just pour it out, and your salad's ready to go. Quick salad, you don't have to just sit and cut lettuce, cut this, the salad is already ready to go. It's kind of a trick of the trade to help you eat healthy. So I hope that helps. And if you don't want the pantry pastor to strike your house, then you better clean out your pantry and your refrigerator quickly. We call this food surgery. We have the dairy up here, healthy dairy. Again, minimize it a little bit. Tons of fruit, tons of vegetables. This right here, this should be your main staple. So your, your meals should be primarily veggies, potatoes, yams, beans, tons of vegetables, fruit, and then meat and dairy. If you need to have that, have that be maybe 10%, 15% of your diet, not 60%. And then of course we have uh, some more healthy items over here for you to choose from. And uh, should we look at the freezer? I don't know. I don't know. 
Is that ice cream? When did, how did that get in there? Okay, healthy options. You want it, the bread will stay much longer frozen. You've got everything itemized. What's nice is nice, clean, organized. It leads to a nice, clean, organized diet, hopefully. So, all right, we'll talk to you soon. Most of you watching this realize we were joking around with a lot of this stuff, including the pantry, okay? We don't get that upset of food.